Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10A and we're looking at air-to-air -air weapons. So we've got essentially two weapons. We've got the A9 Sidewinder, which is a FOX-2 type missile. A missile with a passive IR sensor in it that seeks out the heat from other aircraft and seeks to them accordingly. And we've got the GAL-8 Avenger Cannon. So first things, let's look in the arm-up screen. We can have the missiles on pylons 1 and 11. The uh, GAL, we've always got the gun. And on the pylons we can have, we can have an AIM-9L, a Mike, a Papa and a Papa 5. You can have two of them or um, one Lima or one Mike or one Cap. I think the Cap's a training missile but let me know if I'm wrong, I may have that wrong. Uh, we've got these are different versions of the M9 Sidewinder. The Mike is the newest one of the lot here. It's an all aspect missile, which means that it can, the seeker header on it can detect a target and fire at a target, whether they are um, hot towards us or cold away from us or moving side to side, any aspect basically. The L, I believe, is any aspect as well. The Papa is any aspect as well, although not as good as the the mic. And the Papa is an older version, which is rear aspect only, it means you can only shoot at a hostile when they're heading away from you, and you can see the heat of their engines, basically. So we're just going to have a couple of the best ones on either side. As for the gun, we've got combat mix or high explosive incendiary, and that's going to be best for air to air. So we're going to take that and arm up. Request rearming. While that's arming up, let's have a quick look at our controls. Very simple: fire our gun, weapon fire to fire our missile, weapon release. And to go to air-to-air -air mode, we've got this one here, longitudinal missile aiming mode. Take note that to aim, arm these missiles up, you have to have your canopy open and your engines off and spooled down. Warmed up, let's start up and go and find some targets. Okay, we've got some very conveniently placed hornets in front of us here. So let's press 6 to get air-to-air -air mode going. Now if we look down at our ordnance panel down here, we can see that we've got the outer pylons 11 and 1 selected and missiles available to fire on them. So let's look at the missiles first. As soon as you go into air-to-air -air mode then they're armed up automatically selected and ready to fire. We've got the bore sight of the missile represented by this circle here. It's currently fixed to the bore sight of the aircraft so wherever I maneuver the aircraft then this bore sight will follow. The idea is I position my aircraft so that one of these heat signatures from these hostile planes gets near enough to this bore sight here and then the IR sensor on the selected missile will get, essentially get a lock on that plane and be ready to fire. We will know that has happened because A will get a tone, a growl from the sidewinder according to that and also this when we get close enough this circle here will snap to the target. Then we're ready to fire. Uh, regards and we fire with the weapon release button regards range about two miles if you're trailing a target um, head on in an A10 probably about six miles maximum uh, possibly a little, little bit more if it's a very fast fighter heading towards you and uh, side to side uh, just interpolate between those two figures let's go and uh, aim at this hostile right so I've let him get a bit of a distance away um, you can hear the growl of the sidewinder so listen to the tone as I hover the bore side circle over the target You can see there, it snaps him. I can move slightly away from him and it will continue tracking, but when it's outside about two or three degrees, it'll lose the lock, I'll show you that. And so I'll just have to um, put the ball sight back on him. And that's it, we're gonna fire. Fox 2 with weapon release. And that's it, simple as that. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to uncage that uh, IR sensor, I believe it's always going to be attached to the bore sight. Next is the gun. Now we don't have a radar on this aircraft, so the gun is just an inertial predictor here. We've got the traditional non-radar gun funnel here. So the way you use it is you take the, uh, the wing span of an aircraft here and you position your aircraft so that that aircraft, the hostile aircraft, spans the gun funnel and touches the edges of the gun funnel. So if we're close and it's a big wingspan, then we'll put it somewhere up here in the gun funnel. If it's far away like this and it's a, a relatively small wingspan, according to our view here, we'll put it at the bottom of the gun funnel. Gun funnel. I find this incredibly difficult to use, almost impossible to use, to be honest. But um, that's all we've got, so we've got to give it a go. Okay, I've reset to get us a little closer. Let's have a go at using this gun funnel. I can't get rid of the sidewinder tone as far as I'm aware. We use the weapon fire button to fire. <laughs> There's no traces with this gun, so you just have to um, do your best. 
Whee! Let's try a bit further away. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> well, we've got him in the end. I'm no good at it but that's apparently how it works and there you go uh, you got your ammo for the gun shown down there in the bottom left that's all i've got to say on that it's all pretty simple but those uh, the missiles are pretty effective in the a10a so definitely use it right i hope that helps and see you later